So in this video, I would like to take a look at the reaction of primary amines with a carbonyl containing compound such as an aldehyde or a ketone. We have a nucleophile and we have an electrophile, and this reaction can go, our nucleophile can attack the electrophilic carbon, the carbonyl carbon, and eventually uh, we go through a series of steps and we replace the carbonyl group with this functionality called uh, an amino group, and this particular compound is called an imine. And it looks a little bit like magic. We've taken off the carbonyl oxygen and we've lost two of the protons from the nitrogen to form water as well as this imine. How does this reaction proceed? Well, the first step, actually, although this reaction can be done under neutral conditions, there's always a small amount of H plus around. We use a small amount of acid catalyst. Now we might think, hopefully, if you see an amine and a ketone, you think the first step is a protonation. Your inclination should be to protonate that nitrogen group. And that is where that proton would sit most of the time. However, every once in a while, that protonated ammonium compound can bump into a ketone and transfer its proton, and that actually is the reactive species. So even though intuitively we might want to protonate this nitrogen, in this case, that doesn't lead anywhere. However, we have to realize that at some point, some point we can get this type of protonation that occurs, and we get our activated carbonyl compound. We still have lots of amine around. And our amine can now easily attack the carbonyl carbon of this activated carbonyl compound. And when we do that, we get a new intermediate, and we have our tetrahedral intermediate. Take a look, we've broken that double bond, promoted the electrons from the pi system up onto the oxygen. And we still have two protons on our nitrogen. We use this lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen to attack the carbonyl compound, so we must now have a positive charge on our nitrogen. Remember, we started with a positive charge. We're going to have a positive charge, net positive charge, throughout this reaction under acidic conditions. And we are under acidic conditions. The next step in the reaction, something can pull around, flow along, and pull off that proton. It might be another carbonyl species, it might be another amine, but something will pull off that proton. And so all I'm going to do is indicate that we're losing a proton in this step. And I'm going to pull off this proton. Now we have this amino alcohol species. We've removed the proton. We have a neutral species. Uh, our proton is hanging around. Uh, it's on something else right now. But when it comes back, it can protonate at the nitrogen, in which case this would just go back there. And in fact, this whole reaction series is going to be under equilibrium conditions. But instead of floating around that protonating species, if it doesn't run into the nitrogen, it might run into the oxygen. So uh, I'm now going to add a proton. And I'm going to add it
oxygen, we have our nitrogen, and we have our R groups. Next step in this reaction looks a little bit counterintuitive. I'm just going to go over here to have room. And what we're going to do is push off this molecule of water with the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen. The lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen is going to reorganize to form a carbon-nitrogen double bond. Carbon can only have four bonds, so it has to get rid of something, and it can easily get rid of this protonated oxygen as a molecule of water. So we now have this species. still have our proton on this nitrogen. Now all we have to do is something has to float around. And pull off this proton, probably the water molecule, and it ends up giving us this final species, which is our imine and a molecule of water and a proton. I'm going to add my proton over here, put all of this in a box to show us what the reaction is. Notice that everything is nice and balanced. And I now see that this proton is outside of the box. I'm going to put it there. In your view, if you can see this, I've just replaced it. So that's how we do the reaction of an amine, primary amine, with a carbonyl compound to form an imine and a molecule of water.